A huge factor of living as a student in London or major cities is money. In a survey carried out in 2019 with 3,385 students, it was discovered that 62% of these students said that the maintenance loan wasn't enough to make ends meet, meaning they had to turn to other sources such as familial support or a job. As many know, not having enough money, especially as a student, can cause many ramifications and can affect grades, mental health and diet to say the least. But there are a few tips and tricks that I've learnt uh, studying and budgeting as a student in London. So my name is Harry and we're going over tips of five different subjects or like topics um, within budgeting as a student in London. Uh, I'll leave chapters and timestamps in the description. So first of all, let's start on food. This is probably like one of the biggest you know use of money as a student so my first tip is to try and always make your own food I mean how many times you've been lazy and thought you know what let me go get a takeaway takeaway comes you know you spent about 10 pounds on it and doesn't even hit that well you chuck it away and you're like why did I even get that do you want to say more okay so moving on to the second point say if you do on the occasional takeaway don't use uber eats or just eat or any of these delivery apps if you can just walk there this is because these companies charge a restaurant a, a large like percentage so then the restaurants to cover that loss they just increase their prices on these apps so it's actually cheaper if you go to the restaurant itself instead of just getting a delivery service now I, th I think um, like a big company of this is KFC where basically if you get it ordered you spend an extra three pounds just because you use a delivery app Okay, moving on to number three. What if the restaurant is too far away? So I would recommend using delivery because as a student, you have access to the Amazon student plan, which is $3.99 a month. With six months, uh, first six months are free. And they give you um, a delivery plus for free. So if you spend over 15 pounds, uh, you just get free delivery. And that is great for group takeaways or just get takeaways with your friends. And the last tip about food is an app called Too Good To Go. So this app lets you like claim food that's about to go to waste from like brands such as Greggs or corner shops. Um, so for example, I went to Greggs and I spent three pounds and it was about like 10 pounds worth of food because essentially what you're doing is you're just buying food that would have just gone to waste and all you gotta do is just, you have a time slot you gotta be in there for. As long as you're there in the time slot and you're there to claim it, you can get it. It's kind of like a mystery box. I got like stuff like sausage roll, donuts, a cookie and a steak bacon mine all for three pounds. The thing is on the app, when it, they do go live, they go very, very quickly. So you're going to be quick to claim. So a big staple of university in England is the large drinking culture. And this can be quite a uh, cash burner for students. So here's just some uh, money saving tips for that. So first of all, go to Asda if you want legit brands. I've seen that usually they always have lower prices. Um, compared to other supermarkets but then you also have a Tesco club card like the club card allows you to um, get some alcohol really really cheap so I bought a bottle of Malibu 70cl for about £10 where another place it would have been like an extra £5 but then if you're really on a budget you can go to places like Lidl or Aldi which have like knockoffs of these alcohols like I've heard that they usually taste the same there aren't much difference in actual taste it's just the brand name and the price really they're much more cheaper then another thing is transport especially in London because it can just rack up and be quite expensive so well, walk wherever you can because uh, it's free and it's a uh, exercise and secondly try and use public transport as much as you can unless it's like late and for your own safety then I guess get an uber and then also thirdly um, get a rail card like student rail card if you have a student um, bank account uh, I got mine at Santander they just gave me a free rail card which is usually worth 70 pounds that's for three years and I get 30% off um, all of my tickets uh, off peak times and then another big um, like spend of your maintenance loan would be your accommodation if you're living out especially if you're like on campus so when you're choosing your accommodation only try and choose the facilities that you actually need like why do you need a double bed if you're you know you're the only one gonna be sleeping in it. why do you need a bath if you're just gonna have to have showers you know because these are little things can add up like an extra 10 pound a month extra 20 pound a month where you can just you know save this for other stuff and now moving on to actual um, uni material I haven't bought a single book since I've been here at uni and that's because books can just be so expensive especially if you buy the latest edition which I highly recommend that you don't because these newer editions aren't that much um, different to older editions but if you want to make sure ask a lecturer about it and they would like recommend you a 
good addition and maybe if it's in a uni library you can probably pick it up there for free as well if worst comes to worst and you can't find it anywhere in your library or and just you know it's too expensive you can always find it as a pdf online somewhere i'm pretty sure it will be there if you just look in the right places so thank you guys so much for watching um so i went over those five topics food alcohol accommodation books and travel i uh, hope this helped a lot if you do want to see another video please do click here and i shall be seeing you guys soon